So, I did not see too much of the Belgium game. Well, I actually saw more than half the game. I turned it on right when it was already 1-0. Early goal, early, early penalty for what I could see. I think it was a justified penalty. Uh, Belgium played with a lot of pressure, made it 2 nothing very quick. Got then uh, a goal, gave up a goal um, by the Tunisians, which actually set the tone for a game. It was 2-1 uh, after 18 minutes. And yeah, it seemed to be a, a game full of goals, um, lots of attacking, and Belgium was very fluent. Uh, unfortunately, I fell asleep, so I didn't see the 3-1 by Lukaku, which was another very powerful, nice goal. And the 4-1 by Azar just after halftime. So <laughs> I think I saw it until the 40th minute and I turned on again in the 55th, at which time it was 4-1. Um, Belgium played impressively, I have to say. Um, then the stars came off and then I think it was Bacuani who had a... Uh, personal duel with the Tunisian goalkeeper. I think he hit the bar once, he shot twice at the goalkeeper until he finally made his goal and it seemed personal in a way. Uh, he finally made his goal in the 30th, uh, not in the 30th, in the 90th minute. Uh, it was 5-1 and then Tunisia pulled one back again. Uh, so seven goals um, from what I could see was a very entertaining game although I missed three goals. Um, some might want to say vital calls, but yeah, it was an entertaining game overall. Um, and it was played at the Spartak Stadium in Moscow, which um, for you out there don't know, is built on the side of the Tushino airfield. And that makes another connection for me. Um, one of the most legendary concerts of the early 90s was Monsters of Rock at Tushino Airfield where the Spartak Stadium is playing now, uh, is built now and it was Pantera, ACDC and Metallica playing. Uh, ACDC was the headliner, Metallica before them, uh, to a crowd of what's rumored somewhere between 150,000 to 500,000, some even say a million people. If you look at the concert footage it's a massive audience. And yeah, um, there's also a connection to today. Pantera's drummer passed away. We don't know why today, so my condolences there. Uh, but that's all not soccer related. What's soccer related now is are the kits. Belgium played in the away kit and Tunisia in the red away kit. And I don't get it. Uh, we had Australia play Denmark in dark green and white respectively because FIFA thought that the yellow and the red are too little contrast. Well today we had a yellow kit with black pants against an all red kit providing a pretty much the same contrast as that the matchup would have. Um, and in addition I think that a higher contrast would have been if Belgium played in red and Tunisia would have played in all white. I don't understand it. The matchup looked nice. It actually, um, I have to say, it gave some more color to this group where I predicted all red versus white matchups. So, but both Belgium games, at least the Panama, had some blue, and now we had some yellow and some black thrown in. So, it made for a little bit more interesting viewing experience. So, therefore, I'm not too sorry about that. And I actually like the Belgium kit, to be honest. But I'm still wondering. I don't get. FIFA kit regulations, or maybe FIFA deciding uh, who is playing in what. Uh, it seems a little bit haphazard and there's no logic to, um, thinking behind it, it seems to me. And you know, being a statistician and so on, there, I'm always trying to find patterns and that doesn't seem to be a pattern that makes much sense. Let me know what you thought about the game. Um, I think we have two more really exciting games in group. F today and yeah let me know what you think about FIFA kit regulations I am surely gonna feature this in my big long uh, post second match day roundup that I will talk a little bit about more FIFA about the FIFA kit regulations because now it really got to some crazy uh, matchups 
and I will talk to you soon later today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.